Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to a range test of a car that a lot of people have been waiting for. This is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. This is the Project 45, so that means an introduction edition, and of course those are fully loaded, so that means largest rims, 20 inch, largest battery pack, and all wheel drive. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions and I will do one test at 130 km per hour. The WLTP range of this particular version is 430 km, so let's do the test and see how it does. So I have been driving for a while now, it is already getting darker outside as you can see. I have illegally put these interior lights on, don't tell the police, but the car is performing exceptionally well. I mean, I have driven 67 kilometers and the car only used 13% state of charge. 13% on 67 kilometers, that is amazing. The average consumption is 15.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. If the car keeps performing like this, the range is more 480 kilometers than 430 kilometers, like the WLTP is saying for this particular version. Again, it is amazing. I gotta say though, I am driving in basically ideal conditions. The car is reporting that it is still 20 degrees outside and there is barely any wind. But again, this is very impressive. I am driving, I am driving, I am driving and I am driving. This car just keeps on going. I'm actually getting flashbacks of the Ford Mustang Mach-E. I mean, I've driven so far that I am almost in Germany. So it is time to turn around because if I go into Germany, I am tempted to go maximum speed, which is 185 kilometers an hour, which is not really good for the range test, is it? And also to make the test a little bit more scientific, I also have to drive the other way because well, maybe we had tailwind the whole time and in the other way we have headwind, so the car will consume more. Because right now the car is still consuming 15.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that means still 480 kilometers of range that this car can do if it keeps performing like this. It is absolutely crazy. But again, I will be keep on driving and I will keep on going and eventually we will get there. So let me turn on the illegal lights. Hello there. So I have used 50% of the battery capacity and on those 50% I have driven around 240 kilometers. So that means that 480 kilometers of range is still in sight. I mean, the consumption went up a little bit. It is now 15.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, but it cannot have a name. Again, this car is efficient and combine it with a large battery pack of almost 73 kilowatt hours, you can drive for quite a while. All right, I am at my usual charging location, getting 188 kilowatts at 30%. That is amazing. But that is not what we're here for, so let's get to the results of the test. I started the test with 97% state of charge and I arrived here at the charger with 30%, so that means I've used 76%. On those 76%, I have driven 311 kilometers. So if I do the calculation, when driving 90 kilometers per hour, keep in mind it is around 20 degrees right now, there's not a lot of wind. With this Hyundai Ioniq 5, all-wheel drive, largest battery pack, you can drive around 464 kilometers, sorry, 464 kilometers. Keep in mind the WLTP range of this car, this particular version is 430 kilometers, so more than the WLTP range. Actually a very good result. The car was efficient, not as efficient as a Kona or a Inira e e would be, but keep in mind, it is a bigger car, quite a lot bigger. It is heavier, it has more power, but still the car had an average consumption of 15.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I think that is efficient and I think that is a good result. So again, 464 kilometers in very good condition. So in winter, it will be less than that. But that's it, 90 kilometers per hour test. Let's do the 130 kilometers per hour test. So I've been driving 130 kilometers per hour for a bit now, and it seems like the range will be somewhere around 275 kilometers. 
but I'm still looping around since, well, the battery is only at 53%. So let's get on the highway again. The car is in sport mode. Let's take this corner maybe a bit too sporty, but it doesn't matter because then we can power it. Power! I mean, it has all wheel drive. It has all the grip that you want. And 130. Finally, I am home. But before I go to bed, I will give you the results of the 130 kilometers per hour test. I started the test with 88% state of charge and I arrived at the finish with 29%. So that means I've used 59%. On those 59%, I have driven 163.5 kilometers. So if I do the calculation then, in these conditions, the car is still reporting 19 degrees Celsius. While driving 130 kilometers per hour, you can do on one state of charge 277 kilometers. So one state of charge, 130 kilometers per hour, 277 kilometers of range. And I gotta say though, I am slightly disappointed by that because I was really hoping more than 300 kilometers or at least hitting that 300 kilometers mark. But the car gets a little bit thirsty while driving higher speeds. Not insanely thirsty, but the consumption was 26.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So yeah, a little bit thirsty, but again, it's not insanely thirsty. I have seen worse. So the results are okay. Not exceptional, but okay. So that was the range test of the Hyundai Ioniq 5. I hope you liked it and if you did well please give a like and do subscribe ring that bell if you don't want to miss a video in the future if you did not like it please leave a comment below to see what i can improve and then i would like to say now thank you a lot for watching and as always to be continued